Hi, I'm Kathleen Hamilton Campos, and I'm a senior astronomy and physics major here at College Park. And today we're going to be playing with an old fashioned air dryer. So you know how these things work. You flip the little switch and you get a column of air. Now, what do you think will happen if I put one of these ping pong balls in the column of air? Do you think that it might stay there and levitate? Do you think that, of course not, it's just going to fall? Let's find out. So it turns out that the ball will actually levitate being held up by the column of air. This is called the Kawanda effect where the air is actually supporting the ball evenly because it is a perfectly smooth, even curvature. So the ball rests in an area of low pressure surrounded by kind of a high pressure envelope. Now, how well is the ball actually supported by the air? What happens if I put it back in the stream and then tilt the hairdryer? Do you think that it will fall out because it's not totally straight? Or do you think that we might be able to hold on to it even if the air is at an angle? Let's find out. So you see that even with a pretty high tilt, the ball actually went further out, but was still held within the airstream. Feel free to grab a couple of ping pong balls and explore it yourself. Just make sure you don't accidentally hit yourself or fry anything. All right, I hope you have a newfound respect for hairdryers. Mm -hmm.